What's up guys? What's up everyone? Okay, so just got back from some travels. My first week back in LA. It's good to be back on a routine. Being away from LA for so long actually makes me realize like how much I do actually love it and miss it. And you know, it is home. My mom would hate to hear me say that because she, every time I say like, oh, it's home. She's like, no, Arizona is your home. This is your home. Sorry, mom, if you're listening. But yeah, back in LA, that means empty fridge. Gotta go restock. And when I say restock, like my fridge is pretty much like always empty because I travel a lot. And I don't like snack a whole lot, to be honest. So you're gonna see very soon what my grocery shopping is. It's pretty much what I'm eating that day. So it's gonna be what I'm eating for dinner tonight. And then I'll get a carton of eggs and I'll have like an egg pretty much like with every meal I cook. So you'll see that. Busy day today, very productive day so far. It is 12.59 p.m. and today was an early one. I woke up at 5 a.m. I know, yeah, it feels like it's 9 p.m. for me right now. But yeah, I've had a very productive, busy day. Worked out very early this morning. Had some meetings, met a friend for some lunch in between. Gonna go shopping right now grocery shopping and then got another meeting after that and then I got another workout and then I got another workout after that it's a crazy one I don't know what I'm doing to myself it's just keeping me sane so let's go shop Look at her adulting 101 right there. Yeah, so you got a little glimpse of what my grocery trips are like. They're very fast efficient. I know it was on my list. Very healthy things here. I try to keep it very lean, just fuel for the body. Nice whole foods for the most part, I think. Let's go home and unload these. I told y'all earlier, I had a pretty busy morning. I woke up and did a run with some of the boys so that I was just compressing the legs, a little recovery. Cause now I'm about to go hit legs at the gym with those same boys. They are psychotic. I love it because I love the grind as well. So right now I'm gonna make myself a little pre-workout snack. Oh, this is ready, ready? Delish. And when I say make my pre, I'm probably just gonna have a banana to be honest. I'm about to leave here in like probably five to 10 minutes. Ready? Tell you open a banana right there. It's a good one. It's not like too ripe. I can't believe I just bit that in front of you guys. I usually, cause you guys are weird. I gotta go change. Cause I'm not working out in this shirt, but I have some fun stuff planned for us for later. But for now, peace. Hey everyone, so unfortunately, I did not bring you guys to the gym with me. I get pretty nervous when it comes to like, just filming, you know? Like I don't wanna show up to a workout and then be like, bro, why'd you bring your camera? I don't know, cause it's like my job. I, it's just me being in my head about things, I guess. Check, did that, I just went and hit back and arms with the boys. I'm exhausted, but we power through. I'm gonna make some dinner right now, and you guys are gonna make that with me. This is gonna sound psychotic, but I have Pilates at 6.30. Is it 
Wait, that's actually kind of like soon. Uh, it's at 6.30. Uh, okay, so we kind of are limited on time. Here's what I'm thinking. I think we make it before, or at least prep it. I don't know what I'm, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do. We might as well prep the rice. That's what I gotta do, because rice takes a sec. Okay. Cup of rice and then one and one. Th yeah, one and one thirds. One and one thirds. Okay, so you want more water than rice. Yeah. Perfect. And then yeah. I'll I'll see you in forty minutes for your Pilates. Yeah, it's at it's at the far one. That's why I left early. Which one's it at? Guys, guess what? Turns out, I thought the Pilates tonight was gonna be at a completely different location. So now that it's at the different location than I thought, I'm totally gonna abort the mission and just say that. Like right now, it's 35 minutes sitting in traffic and I just don't wanna do it because I just got, like I just got out of the car. And I already cooked two workouts today, so like a third would actually be kind of psychotic, but I was willing to do it if it was at the gym right next to me. Looks like we're cooking tonight and looks like we have time to do so. So I'm just gonna put the rice in right now. And then from there, we play it by ear. What do we say? I say break. Let's do this. You know, the key is here, really to just like massage it. Despite having like somewhat of an idea of what I'm gonna be cooking, I need to like, actually get a better idea. Let's see. Definitely gonna be doing something with ground turkey. Ground turkey. I'll probably do half of this. At the store, I didn't, I didn't know how to ask, but I didn't want to sound stupid, but I think either way, I kind of sounded a little stupid. So it's like, I've learned who cares, like be vulnerable, ask dumb questions if you have to, or look it up if you're scared to ask. But sometimes it's hard to like, word a question online. So like sometimes it's just like, okay, like they'll understand what you're saying. So today I asked the guy, I'm not gonna eat all this in one sitting. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, like if I'm hungry or not. But if I don't, what do I do with the other half? Do I cook it and then put it in Tupperware and have it cooked in the fridge and then heat it up tomorrow in the microwave? Or do I just leave it in here, put it in like the produce section of my fridge and then leave it uncooked and then just cook it tomorrow? And he said to cook it all, but I don't know. My mind's leaning like, just don't cook it. Let me know in the comments if there's a more productive way to do that, if that even makes sense to you. Cause it does to me. So we have broccoli. I've never prepared broccoli to be honest. So I'm actually really excited for this, this little endeavor of mine. And then we're gonna do an egg or two for our, our dinner. So it's gonna be ground turkey breast over rice with broccoli and egg on top. It actually kind of sounds, that sounds good. I mean. This may not do it for you. You know, you may be like, no, follow a recipe. That's gross. Yeah, you might be right, but it gets the job done for me. Like it actually, like, it sounds good for me. I've gotten to the point where like, I actually crave like these, you know, good things. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna throw this on. I forgot what it says. This shit is about to be delicious. Guys, I kind of want to whip this up and then like put it over a plate and go watch One Day on Netflix. I haven't seen it yet. And everyone's telling me like, you'll cry. Bet. My heart is cold now. I told my mom that once and she was pissed. She was like, stop, don't lose that heart of yours. It is gone. All right, I got my mitt and everything. When in doubt, pull out. This was from Bryce. Bryce got me this for Christmas. What an idiot. <laughs> it's actually a good mitt though. Let's get to work. Let's do this.
I reckon I can go a bit more, slightly. Things are looking good. Rice has 10 more minutes, but in rice cooker time, that's like six, seven minutes. I think it's time. I'm gonna go like one or two more minutes. You look good though. Time to cry. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I am drinking electrolytes. This is not a brand deal or anything, so I'm not gonna like, go on too much. But I like to get my electrolytes in in the morning because I do a lot of output, which I means like I work out a lot and I'm very active, so. I don't know, that just seems to like help with like not cramping that little extra push and like for hydration. So I am drinking a strawberry lemonade one and it's just like a good thing to drink first thing in the morning. Like it's kind of nice to have something like sweet almost. Like as soon as you wake up, it's like a reward. I usually drink this and then we're on about our day. I have Pilates at Aloe at nine and you guys are coming with. Yeah, I'm walking today. Usually I drive, but I have like time, so I'm able to like get a good, like nice, like brisk walk in. And you know me, I love a good walk. So let's grab the headphones, listen to a podcast or something. Let's do it. All right, as I'm walking, I'd like to take this moment to do a quick shout out to someone on my vlog. Someone I've known for more than half of my life has been, you know, like this with me. Like we've been brothers my whole life. And it's his birthday today, February 28th. So big shout out to Bryce Duke. He's in Montreal right now. So our careers have taken us a bit apart. But we still keep in touch pretty much every day. Play Xbox together. Still make efforts to see each other when we're home and everything. This is my brother. So happy birthday, Bryce. Much love. Everyone tell Bryce happy birthday. Yeah, give him a late happy birthday. Love. Onward with the walk.
There's too much on your plate. So that wraps this morning, Pilates at Aloe. It, today it was with uh, Justin and Jake. So it was a good little group, good little trio. Got after it to be fair, Laura killed us. Then got myself a little med bowl. Oh, think of myself, Jake actually got this. Pussies up, shout out Jake, love him. He got me this little med ball tea after. If you don't know what a med ball tea, it's so good. It's like herbal tea with like lemon, honey, mint, and it's really good. It's really good for when you're sick, hence why it's called medicine ball tea. But I'm not sick today, I just thought it would hit because I actually have, I have a coffee meeting here in like an hour or so. So I'm gonna walk back, change, get ready for that. And then I'm gonna have myself another proper coffee. So I didn't wanna go too heavy on the caffeine this morning. Even though I'm pretty sure there's caffeine in this. So maybe I'll have a decaf at the meeting. Or maybe I'll just triple up because I actually do have a busy day today. But nevertheless, Pilates check onward with the rest of the day. Here. like I have quite a few plates like I'll show you for proof just a lot where that came from am I right so like but in my head I'm like well if I just reuse one like I'm the only one here like I'm the only one using it I'll just continue like if I use more plates then it's just more dishes so but sometimes occasionally like I'll whip out another plate for the most part I kind of just reuse and I have another pot or I have another pan as well but I like just using this pan it's easier that way let's get started let's get some fuel for the day shall we what are we thinking I'm thinking eggs, and then I'm also thinking we cook that other half of our ground turkey. We could do a little egg ground turkey scramble. Just something to fuel me for the day. Later in the day, so I have, I have to go to a screening at the CAA offices right now, and, and then that's going straight into a meeting, then I have a coffee meeting after, that's that thing that I was telling you about, and then I have a dinner tonight, a business dinner, and then I have a, an event that I'm gonna go to just to show some love. Let's do this. Feels pretty hot. Sorry about that. Look what I got. It came in. Thank God. I'll play with that in a sec, but for now, season this bad boy up. Bad. How stupid is that I have to come back and get you guys? 